Hi there, my name is Sayed. In this video, we will learn about software project deliverables. So, uh, and what are the project deliverables? First, we need to understand what is a software project. Uh, many companies, when they implement, um, uh, when, 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 they, when they develop or implement a software in the company or replace the software, upgrade, rollout, or many different forms of software. So, for example, they upgrade their server, they upgrade their ERP system, they do any kind of software. So, so in the project, they do this. Uh, they define a project that when in a six month we will have new system or in a year we will have new system. So that is basically a project. And in a project, uh, there's a defined set of activities. And uh, as per the activities, there are some documentation, some meetings, some different actions are <clears throat> performed by the teams are involved for implementation they were the develop developers are involved consultants business analysts project managers so everybody have their own action uh, their task role and responsibility and uh, as a result of that uh, they use a methodology for example they do use waterfall they use sdlc they use agile methodology any one of those methodology they use and uh, after that they they have their um, set of activities as per the methodology so so that is basically uh, we will discuss about this in this video that what deliverables are used in the project so how many project deliverables exist in a project so it's, it's really depends on the method methodology uh, and the company's standards um, company's requirement and also depend on the manager stakeholders so where they would like to see certain side of uh, certain kind of documents uh, or maybe they have in previous experience that uh, they would like to see uh, blueprint document meeting minutes or discussion points or uh, so <clears throat> in a methodology there are set of uh, deliverables already set in the methodology that can be googled up and you can take a look at it but uh, most common ones are basically exist in pretty much every methodology but the names are maybe different but uh, the what what goes on to the document is really uh, very similar and uh, can be uh, changed and it could be different uh, shape or form in there so as uh, as long as you understand then there is a business requirement document the uh, the template could be different there could be more uh, uh, information in there the more is a merrier so depend on that how much uh, information you would like to put in there and the project and the company how, how how many things they are like to see in there so it's really depends on the project so when you go to the project you can you can ask or you can check with the project or uh, you can see that if is there any template or is there an existing document and by looking at it uh, it will give you a sense that what uh, goes on to those uh, so this this is a standard template for this project and for this company so that will help so uh, and also depend on the commercial contract for example in the contract they define that we will deliver this and we will deliver this so that become a deliverable for the project and they have to have some documentation for that so, so get sign off on that so that is there <coughs> Um, and uh, every phase have a deliverable for example in the first phase with the requirement gathering is happening maybe uh, uh, blueprint document is, is or business requirement document is could be one of the deliverable on this phase uh, joint uh, uh, meeting sessions requirement gathering session that is one of the deliverables of the meeting and the process flows so there are could be different um, templates will be available on that and it could be that any team member can suggest and that can be used to depend on the project standards and the individuals whatever they discuss and whatever whatever they come up with into the project as per the methodology so uh, so if we would like to see that what is a project deliverable so so <clears throat> so it could be a document it could be a activity it could be a meetings it could be weekly meetings it could be um, for example storyboard 
where they where the business analyst will capture the step by step uh, that screenshot use cases where where a uh, one process of uh, it could be defined in use case uh, we will take a look at one of the example of use case and later on uh, there could be a blueprint document process flow document meetings gap analysis uh, weekly meetings status meetings whatever it is so this could be defined into the that do, do, these can be defined as a project deliverable so when we take a look at it uh, it could be weekly status meeting team meeting project meeting and it could be meetings in any kind of meeting you know uh, and let's take a look at the use case so this is example of one of the deliverable for example i i took this from this book uh, sap sales and distribution quick configuration guide and uh, here you can see that uh, there are actors and uh, the system is like this box and uh, and the actions are what are happening in these circles so so that is basically use case which is a simplification of a process to define in a use case similarly process flows are a little bit more defined and there's step by step things are in there and so that is basically one of the for example if the uh, one process is defined that how the uh, there could be actor could be that uh, salesperson and then the person who's making order so they are taking order so the story can be made out, out of this and then uh, it could make any sense to you that after the order is happening there is MRP run and then there is an invoice so so that is uh, just a example that just to understand what is use case look like and uh, and how is it uh, this is one of the uh, deliverable this is not going to be just like this it's going to be more documentation some written notes and uh, there could be more template on this so that is uh, one of the ways so <coughs> business uh, blueprint document or business requirement document it could also call brd so uh, one one methodology might call it a business blueprint document another methodology might call is call it as, as a business requirement document so basically they are uh, very similar it might be some small differences and and even though blueprint document for a same methodology might be different for company to company and uh, industry to industry and uh, depends so uh, so in, in blueprint document what goes on there is introduction purpose uh, there's a version management business process business process flow diagram requirements and more so these topics can be discussed within a project management office team leads managers whatever and they decide that what should be in there or it could be predefined template can be used in the project so so all depends and uh, when you have a template document from there it should be very easy to go there introduction if you're write, writing about a uh, sales process then you write about that uh, you're talking about regular sales or, or uh, different kind of sales process you can define in their purpose and so on and so forth so that is just a short video about uh, uh, project deliverables and uh, project deliverables are basically what uh, are defined uh, in this project and uh, what documentation and what results are come out of it as a result of a project so Thank you very much and if you have any question, comment, please subscribe uh, and uh, let us know if you would like to see any other kind of video. Thank you very much.